glamorous Holly Willoughby has set backlash from the past over her eye-popping dancing on ice outfits to one side. Instead of dressing demurely, she chose to prepare for the press launch of Dancing on Ice by donning a plunging crimson dress that showed off her cleavage to full effect. 40-year-old Holly delivered a clear message that she was still in her prime as she shared images of her outfit with her over 7. 5 million Instagram followers. Her floor-length gown was made by Lee Hee Hod, a luxury bridal designer who had previously worked for Dior and John Galliano. Almost all the dresses on the designer's Instagram page are the traditional white that one might expect of a wedding, but Holly's outfit, which some speculated was custom-made especially for her, was in an eye-catching shade of bright red. Meanwhile, her heels, which were invisible in her social media photos due to the length of her dress, were made by the luxury brand Renee Villa. Finally, to complete the picture, she accessorized with sparkly drop earrings by W. Salamoon and Sons. Holly's outfit pictures received more than 22,000 likes in a single hour after posting, with viewers praising her sensational dress and flawless skin. The likes included admiring mentions from model and Love Island star Maura Higgins, suggesting that her look appealed to the young and fashionable crowd. In stark contrast to the dramas of 2021, she appeared as calm and composed as an eyes queen, letting previous Ofcom complaints about her daring dresses bounce away from her. Last year's Dancing on Ice competition was hectic and stressful, with Holly recently confessing to having felt so overwrought that she had sneaked Jen into the TV studios to enjoy with co-host Philip Schofield behind the scenes. There were the pressures of social distancing and the fears of the entire series folding due to COVID when, in spite of the production team's best efforts, Immerdale star Joe Warren Plant and his pro-partner Vanessa Bauer both succumbed to the virus. Then there were the constant injuries, with Jason Donovan, Denise Van Outen and Billy Fires all being forced to drop out of the competition. Denise's agonizing shoulder injury saw her leave the show after appearing in just one episode. Dot this year's action looked set to be far more auspicious, but now, Bez has suffered an injury after hitting his head on the ice. The bad news emerged merely days after Holly's co-host Philip had revealed they were being extra careful with the Happy Mondays musician to avoid him getting injured. Meanwhile, Holly recently came under fire for a mishap on this morning. According to reports yesterday, she made a blunder of epic proportions when she told Strictly's first ever deaf contestant, Rose Ailing Ellis, that she and dancing partner Giovanni Pernice wouldn't be able to hear a pin drop when the BBC show's live tour hits arenas. This led to upset fans accusing Holly of being insensitive and disrespectful to EastEnders regular Rose due to her unfortunate slip of the tongue. It's hard to tell whether Holly will face more ups and downs on this year's series of Dancing on Ice, but fans are guaranteed to be tuning in to find out. This year, almost anything could happen. Dancing on Ice returns to TV screens this weekend, with the first episode kicking off at 6.30pm on Sunday on ITV.